I don't own the rights to this music. I own the rights to this message. Commissioner Harrison, black lives don't matter. Black money doing the money you was making off of black bodies. You came to Baltimore to incarcerate, to set up a, a system of incarceration in the community, in the black community. The whole time that you was here, you never went after white criminals. You only went after black people, the squeegee kids. All right? Then you started inventing stop and frisk. We're going to the dissent decree, Judge Badar, and this is going to Judge Badar. You got a George Floyd bill in, in, in the Senate and the Congress, and y'all ain't signing that George Floyd bill because you don't care about black bodies. Black lives don't matter, black money do. The world is watching Baltimore, and I'm going to give them something to see. I'm going to show them being black in America, white justice versus black justice. And it ain't going to be just us. Commissioner Harris, when you step down, prosecutorial immunity doesn't apply to you. That means you're a private citizen. You can go to jail for participating in a criminal activity. Mic check. Shut this shit down. That's Detective Galzer. I don't want y'all to come to my house no more. I don't have nothing to say to the Baltimore City Police Department. Do not come to my house. Do not call me. I'll see you in court. That's kidnapping. I was kidnapped in 2011 and in 2008 for making a documentary about the war on drugs, the way you're killing black people. I gave you a yellow envelope. I own shorties. I own all parts of shorties. You can't sign no checks. You can't put my name on nothing. So in 2023, I don't get no justice. You don't get no peace. You don't deserve to serve. You're a lawyer and a black legislative, a lack, a black legislator, and you've been silenced. Silence is consent. Y'all made me famous for toilets, so I'm doing it again. I'm putting toilets all over the city, showing how you shitting on black people, how you defend white supremacy. You feel me? How you defend white supremacy. You don't care about black people. You stand up for Tennessee, but you won't stand up for me. You don't deserve to serve, because you're serving white supremacy. And that's what it is. The new faces of old Jim Crow. Black lives don't matter. Black money do. And the money you make off of black bodies. You feel me? We more than hashtags on t-shirts. We more than faces in the dirt. And we're going to show the role that your media plays in misinformation. That's Charles Gibson, World News Tonight. That's ABC, NBC, Baltimore Sun, Fox 45, the Baltimore Brew. Y'all lie about us on a constant basis and you hail up, hail up, you hail up Harrison. And Harrison came here to incarcerate. He came here from Louisiana. They had the biggest prison industry in America. Yeah, they had the biggest prison industry in America. We were $60,000 locked up and $15,000 to educate you. You feel me? You figure it out. So Commissioner Harris, Worley don't deserve to serve. Worley don't deserve to serve. Worley was part of the gun task force. All that stuff that was happening in Baltimore came out of his district. The killing of Tyrone West, the beating of Anthony Anderson. Yeah, that came under his district. And you knew about it. Or you know about it because you wouldn't hear yet. And you're going to hand over the reins to Worley? Worley is responsible for killing people. He's an overseer in the killing of black Baltimore. So Commissioner Harris, the world is watching. Before you leave, Turn over that envelope. Before you leave, we're going to show your true colors. It ain't checkmate. You got checked. Your wife said that you was doing your job. Your job was to incarcerate Baltimore. Your job was to put the fear in Baltimore. Well, that ain't working. Your job is defend the people of Baltimore, not the corporations. Your job is defend the citizens of Baltimore. And you ain't doing it. You don't deserve to serve. I was kidnapped for making a documentary about Baltimore, and we're going to court, and you a witness.